In our last movie, we looked at the perspective grid and how to make adjustments to the grid, how to move around the artboard. Here, let's take a look how, on how we add objects to the grid to create a form. Adding objects to our perspective grid is pretty straightforward. Coming up to our toolbar, we can select the rectangle tool, come to our uh, perspective widget, selecting a panel, and we can just click and drag, uh, and it will automatically add our object in perspective to that plane. Um, we can add a couple more, we'll go to our left side, uh, and clicking and dragging out our shape. Uh, let's change our color property. Now, keep in mind, when you're adding uh, objects, all the same rules come into play uh, with stacking order. So the last object to go down will be the one that is on top. Holding our command and open bracket, we can start to move things to the back and, as you can see, uh, start to create this sense of dimension. Um, we can add multiple objects to our panel. We can even add different shapes um, here. We added a circle uh, with our perspective selection tool. We can move things further away towards our vanishing point or closer. Uh, and also, if we hold our five key down with our uh, selection tool, we can uh, move things perpendicular to the perspective panel further away uh, or uh, closer. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward uh, to add objects to our perspective grid. So that's adding objects directly to the perspective grid. Um, what happens if you have a pattern or shape that you created either on another artboard or in another file? Um, you can also add that to the perspective grid. Here I have uh, another layer it just happens to be a pattern of circles. I can select all, and actually I'm gonna use my direct selection tool. Let's make this a little bit smaller so we can see. Uh, we can specify a panel um, here. Oop, we need to be in our uh, one of our perspective grid friendly uh, tools like the selection tool. I'm gonna click and drag, and I'm gonna move this onto our artboard or, or our, our right excuse me, our, our left panel, and this can be slid around um, above and below, just like regular objects built directly on the grid. Um, this object uh, was brought in and then attached to the grid. So here, let's give, uh, let's, we can even do multiple. So I'm gonna open up my, my color panel. I'm gonna hold my option key down to duplicate, and we can pull, uh, pull another object out, and let's change the color of that to green. If we hold our, uh, the five key down, we can pull this perpendicular. Uh, let's do another one option and just pulling it closer. Let's change the color to like a purple color, five key down, perpendicular to the plane. And as you can see, um, we could start to add multiples and create a, a nice sense of dimension. Let's move this further back so we can, we can see. Uh, and then let's change our our stacking order, setting that all the way to the back. Uh, we can toggle off our grid, command, shift, I. Um, let's deselect our object and you can kind of start to see now uh, the sense of dimension with pattern. Okay, up until this point, we have looked at taking objects and mapping them to the perspective grid. Uh, one additional thing we can do uh, here is map typography as well to the perspective grid. So I have a layer up um, and it's the word typography. Let me toggle back on my perspective grid so we can see. Uh, and the nice thing is you notice that we have three layers uh, and uh, one grid and throughout this entire movie we've been able to toggle between each layer uh, call up whatever our object is and, and use the grid um, without having to recreate that. So sort of a nice feature. Um, so here with our uh, perspective selection tool, I am going to duplicate this and I have my left plane selected. 
And so, you know, here we can just start adding and layering up uh, this word typography and just let's see what um, sort of things we can, we can create. Uh, the nice thing too is, you know, we can corner points and then shift and scale, uh, or excuse me, shift and option, and we can proportionally scale this up and down. Um, you know, we can duplicate it uh, with just the um, option key. And then again, holding uh, the, the number five, we can move this uh, perpendicular to the plane that we are working on. So we can start to really create um, a rich depth uh, with, within this. So let's just change some scale here. And then um, let's change our plane to the right side. And uh, let's continue to map more. And we can see then uh, how this really kind of starts to really um, really kind of be kind of cool and uh, we can really start to do some pretty pretty interesting things as well with typography. So uh, I'm going to toggle off the grid again and so you can see now that uh, really what's happening uh, really kind of a nice sense of, of depth and perspective uh, turning this back on. Another interesting thing that we can do with this is if we come up to our view and our perspective, uh, you can uh, lock the grid, you can snap to the grid, uh, but there's this lock station points. And the lock station points uh, allows you to uh, rotate your perspective and have everything uh, that you have already previously mapped move around so that you can kind of take different views, uh, which is sort of a nice uh, little feature. Um, so, um, Kind of interesting, kind of like how, what's happening as we move our our vanishing points around. You can kind of get a different perspective, no pun intended on that one. Uh, but she, it's it starts to uh, create uh, more depth, more dimension. You can kind of take a different view, point of view as to what you're doing.